everybody, my name is Gron, and welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. This is part 7, we're moving right along, holy crap, I, I feel like I say we're moving right along like 100,000 times per episode. But anyways, where we last left off, um, we are doing the Dark Brotherhood, and Lucian Lachance has asked to meet us at Fort Farragut, which I'm already here, this is it right here. Now, uh, usually when you do this for, for the first time, that's Shaden Hall over there, so it's just a quick walk. You come up to this fort, and uh, it kind of expects you to just walk in inside the door and go through this whole dungeon and you have to fight like skeletons and all this nasty crap but if you've already done it before you probably know that there's a secret shortcut um, and that's behind this huge tree as you can see there's this little hatch and you can actually just go right into it and meet Lucian so we're actually gonna do that and completely bypass the uh, the disgusting gloomy fort because I hate forts in this game I absolutely hate going through forts and so yeah, I'm surprised that's not locked and it like unlocks as you uh, you know complete it. See, normally we would be coming through there. Um, you can see a skeleton over there in the distance, but we were able to completely bypass uh, by going through that hatch. And as you can see, Lucian is right there. And if we actually hit this, I believe this opens. Yeah. And so now I think also um, none of these enemies will attack us once we talk to him. So let's take some stock about what this guy has before we talk to him. So he's got some chest doors. I've been waiting for you, oh. assassin. We have not spoken in some time, but I am well aware of your accomplishments within the Dark Brotherhood. That is why I have sent for you. I'm afraid there is a situation. The time has come to test both your skill and your loyalty to Sithis. The Black Hand has learned that the Dark Brotherhood has been infiltrated. By whom and for what purpose we do not yet know. What we do know is that there is some link between the traitor and the Chaden Hall Sanctuary. The traitor has tainted that place beyond repair. It was learned that the traitor has been active for quite some time, since before you joined the Brotherhood. That absolves you of any suspicion. Say nothing. Listen well, child of Sithis. You have been chosen to perform the ancient rite known as purification. Everyone inside the sanctuary must die. You must break one of the tenants you have sworn to uphold. I know, this is an unexpected turn of events, but drastic measures must be taken. Ochiva, Vicente Valtieri, Antoinette Marie, Gogron Grobalmag, Talendril, Mirage Dar, and Tainava. All these family members must die. From this point forward, you are no longer bound by the five tenets. Sithis will forgive any murder, any theft, so long as you serve the Black Hand. When the rite of purification has been completed, return to me here at Fort Farragut, and we will discuss your future. Now, take these special gifts. They will help you greatly. One is a poisoned apple, the other a unique scroll of summoning. Good luck, silencer. Okay, so that's sort of like the big bombshell of the Dark Brotherhood. We've uh, we've been completing all these contracts for our sanctuary at Shaden Hall, and now we need to actually go in there and kill all of these, you know, family members. Uh, just. For for the sole purpose of sort of purifying the area just in case that the traitor is there and that will sort of like cut out the traitor. Um, so that's pretty heavy and we've been given some things to help us um, but really we don't really need that much help. Um, so let's before we go do that let's take stock like I said in what this guy has. He's got some chests, some drawers and stuff. Potion of Cure Disease, that's good. He also has uh, a barrel with a very hard lock that houses some unique things so let's just Take a look, make sure we're not missing anything. We got a jewelry box with a bronze necklace, not that big of a deal. Some books, a skull. We have an average chest here. Some nightshades, some gold, and we've got like a crypt here with a bunch of bones. That's random, Lucian. Uh, we've got like a novice retort. 
novice alembic which is good it'll allow us to do some alchemy as well as a mortar and pestle some potions and uh, or some poisons rather human heart gross i guess this guy likes human hearts and this barrel right here is a very hard lock so let's open it and see what what's inside Ten poisoned apples, valued at 300 gold apiece. Always thought that was interesting, so we're going to go ahead and take all of those. For what purpose? I don't know yet. Um, in a lot of cases, I just sell them. And, uh, yeah, we're good to go. Now we can just sort of use this hatch. Which, again, I I'm surprised that they didn't make the hatch locked and you have to leave like with the key that he gives you or something. Uh, it's weird. They just let you completely bypass it if you know about it. Okay, so now we are, uh, I must kill every Dark Brotherhood member in the Shaden Hall Sanctuary. Ochiva, Vincente, Valtieri, Antoinette, Marie, Grogron, Gro Balmog, Telendril, Mirajdar, and Tanayava, Tainava. Because I am now working for the Black Hand, I am no longer bound by the Five Tenets and should employ any means necessary to purify the Sanctuary. So we're basically given free will to do whatever we want, um, in order to kill these people. Now, he gave me a Poison Apple and a... A spell that will summon, I believe, Rufio, the soul of the first guy we ever killed on the on the Dark Brotherhood quest line. Uh, but we won't really... I like to keep that spell because it's sort of like a unique spell and I don't like to use it. Let's just take a look in our inventory and see what it looks like. Summon Rufio's Ghost. Summon Rufio's Ghost for 120 seconds on self. So since that's a unique scroll, I like to keep it and not actually use it. But if we were to use it, yeah, you'd summon basically a ghost guy that is supposed to be the soul of uh, of Rufio, the first guy that we ever killed. And I believe if you, yeah, if you ask Lucian about it, he says, like, although he was weak in life, he has a fiery spirit that'll help you. Yeah, so. I think usually what I try to do here, though is uh, kill everybody one by one in stealth mode. Now there's a lot of interesting things you can do. For instance, if we go into Vincente Valtieri's house or room or whatever and we open up his desk, we'll find a Vincente's note to Ochiva, right? So if we read that, Ochiva, damn that young fool Antoinette and her experimental recipes as if the stench of her cooking weren't bad enough. Last week she made a particularly offensive dish consisting of mandrake, onions, and garlic. Garlic. I have told her repeatedly of the danger this plant poses to me, but she has not heeded my warnings. It is strange, this reaction I have to the garlic. In all my wanderings and all my research, I have never encountered another vampire thusly affected. It is true that some popular lore holds that all vampires have an inherent weakness to garlic, but this is simply not the case. My situation, as far as I can tell, is unique. If I were to somehow come in contact with garlic, if it's some... If it in some way came to be on my person, the results could be catastrophic. I would most certainly suffer from a loss of strength and stamina, and fear my resistance to magic would be com nearly completely nullified. So please, Ochiva, as mistress of the sanctuary, I beg you to keep Antoinette on a tighter leash. I love her as a sister, of course, but cannot be held accountable for my actions should she continue to disregard my own personal safety. The tenets clearly state that one family member may not kill another, but I don't need to remind you there's no restriction of, against draining Antoinette of a few pints of precious life's blood. So I, I always thought that was interesting because, you know, it's popular lore in our uh, day and age. Well, I guess not so much because, you know, the popular stuff now has changed what vampires are. But, yeah, va uh, garlic has always been, like, something that vampires want to stay away from. And in this case, it's going to completely drain them of his stamina and all that. But, I mean, oh, yeah. in all honesty, we can just kill him with one quick stealth blow with a, uh, with a bow. So it's not really that big of a deal. But, you know, if you're playing on a higher, harder difficulty or you're doing this later and he's going to impose like a huge challenge yeah you can put garlic on him and it'll weaken him significantly um other than that we have a poison apple and i believe if you like place it on a on a like on a plate and someone sits down and eats they'll die but it's never worked for me i've tried it before it's like never worked for me so i don't know we're just gonna kill everybody one by one pretty much um with our bow and that's the easy way to do it so yeah now if you guys remember this guy mirage da it's good to see you again Ow, no, really. me I mean it. What? Oh, that's funny. He was like looking towards me, but since he was shooting spells, he was hitting me. Okay, oh, yeah, so this guy had always been a douche, but if we talk to him now. Ah, there you are. Uh, look, I've been thinking, and. Well, I guess I just want to say I'm sorry for the way I've treated you in the past. I mean, look at you. The things you've accomplished. So, let's start over, shall we? So that's like, you know, that's obviously like dramatic irony because <laughs> we, we we have to kill this guy right as he says that he's our friend now. Um, okay, so let's have actually sell with this guy. 
You won't find better prices. Huh, that thing's still ten thousand. I guess maybe maybe it was it's always been that much. Okay, let's sell everything that we don't need. So we don't need that. And we can haggle to that's make the prices more, more but that's uh that's gonna take too long. So let's just sell all this crap. Alrighty. A pleasure. Until we meet again. Okay, so that guy, yeah, that guy really likes, as you can tell, um, in Oblivion, when you talk to someone, you can tell how much they like you based on their facial uh, characteristics, and he was smiling. So I think this guy's the only one in the room right now, so we can actually just dispatch him fairly easy. Ah. Goodbye. Oh, wow, he didn't die in one hit. Okay, so I don't know if the other people were alerted. Let's loot him, see what he's got. Five tenants. And what's cool, well, I'll show you guys later, but yeah. Let's continue on. So I believe, you know, to kill Vincente, we can... Uh, let's just try this garlic thing, because we do have some garlic. So if we pickpocket him, go into our inventory, go to... Ingredients garlic, and we press A to put it on him. I believe now he's significantly weaker, and we can actually just... Well, I don't want to be seen. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, he dies in one hit. I don't know if he... Vincente Valtieri is dead. If I wish to become a vampire, I must seek another means of acquiring the dark gift. So we can't become a vampire from him because he's dead. Uh, let's see what he has. An enchanted sword. Very nice. Uh, I think he, this stuff might be unique because I've never seen it really. We'll take our garlic back. And uh, yeah, don't mind the dead naked body. Let's kill this uh, this bone guy really quickly. I think he actually comes back though. Um, okay, so we have Tainava here. Let's take care of him. Wow. Wow. One hit kill. Another enchanted uh, dagger, I think. And. Argonian heart. Huh, that's cool. Yeah, I, I remember it's cool that he keeps that from that quest. And we have one more person here. I think it's going to be Ochiva. She's sleeping. Perfect time to just... Uh-oh. The lusty Argonian maid. We have a Talandriel's Ochiva note. Which I believe tells us, like, where Talandriel is going to be. Because I don't think she's... For a lot of times, she's actually not in here because she's, like, scouting. So, yeah, we might have to go find Talandriel outside. And I think that's what that note is. We'll read it after uh, we kill everybody else. So we have two more targets in here. Let's take care of the rat first. Sorry, buddy. No, 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 don't wake up. Go back to bed. Everything's fine. Night, mother. I beg your mercy. Nope. All right, now this guy is probably going to take more than one hit because he's got some pretty significant armor. And later. Okay, so this guy has a bunch of steel stuff, which uh, we're going to bypass because we use light armor. And yeah, I think we might have uh, one more. I think it's Talandriel, and she might actually be outside. Let's take a look. Yeah, she's yeah she roams about like everywhere, um, which kind of sucks. So we're gonna have to go take care of her. Okay, so let's take a look at that note we looted. Like I said, I believe it just tells us where she's going to be. Um, let's read this one first. Oh no, this is it. Okay. Most honorable achieve, as per your instructions, I will from this day forward leave the solitude of the sanctuary and maintain the following posts. And then she just says where she's going to be. So right now she's in Leowin. And uh, 
Lordas and Sundas. I forget what comes after Sundas, but... Huh. Let's just wait. Well, let's see if she's still in Leowin, first of all. Yeah. Let's, let's just travel here. Okay, so she, wow, she's actually right there. Um, that's, that's great. Hopefully we'll be able to kill her without alerting the guards that are nearby. Let's get in this brush over here. You don't see me. Come on. I can't believe I'm getting so alerted. Usually when I play Oblivion, like, no one ever sees me, even this early in the game. Alright, I need her to get away from the guards. Because even though she's secretly an assassin, I believe the guards will still count it as murder. Come on, who's alerted to me right now? Okay, good. Alright, let's just save here just in case I get caught. And... Uh-oh. Wow. I, I, I shoot arrows like such a noob. I, I can't believe it. The purification is now complete. Every Dark Brotherhood member is based out of the Jaden Hall Sanctuary has been killed. I must now report back to Lucian Lachance at Fort Farragut. And are these guys against me? Let's just talk to them and make sure that we don't have a bounty. It's all over, Lob. Uh oh. Current bounty 40. Huh. Well, even though that's not that big of a deal, I don't like to uh, have a bounty. We'll just clear that up with the Thieves Guild when we get into it, but yeah, I should not have talked to uh, that person. So let's equip Fireball. Do this. No, 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 no. Actually, I think we can just kill this person in all honesty. Why, brother, why? Uh, uh, Had to be done, sorry. Uh, uh. Okay, yeah, so we're good. We're good to go. So let's loot her. Some arrows, which is good. And, uh, yeah, now we can go directly to Lucian, but what I want to do first is um, loot all of the the Brotherhood members' chests, because they all have, like, chests with different stuff inside of it. So let's go back to Shaden Hall really quickly. Alright, now there was a reason why all of those family members had a key, a unique key to each one. And uh, if we go to their chest, they're going to have like, they're each going to have a chest with uh, some cool stuff in it. So let's take a look at that and see if we can find any cool stuff. So yeah, right here, I think if we can, if we were like replaced one of these apples with like a poison apple and someone sat down here and started eating, I think they would instantly die. But like I said, it's it's been kind of, uh, it's been kind of finicky. So beside each of these beds is going to be a very hard chest that we can open with the keys we took. So we got some th we got three uh, scrolls, very nice. And this is Telendriel's chest. Eleven enchanted arrows. Something I always miss from Skyrim is enchanted arrows, so that's very cool. Gogron Grow Balmonk's chest. Just some weapon and armor, of course. Tainavas. A bow and a skill book, so let's go ahead and use that. Which will raise our marksman. And Antoinette Marie's chest. Ah, right, she cooks, so she has all these uh, ingredients. Which will be good for alchemy, so let's take all those. And uh, let's take this stuff, because these are like two unique rolls of parchment beer lots of beer new mugs enough fruit for 12 guests and loaves of bread roast boar we'll take that and here's a letter i was heartbroken when you rejected me tell me what i can do to win your heart i will slay trolls lock you thorns fast for a week please don't shut me out of your life i love you more than a flower needs sunshine you're penitent lover now i never understood what that was in reference to um i guess there was love within the dark brotherhood or something i don't know Maybe there's some more backstory that i'm forgetting that would give us a clue as to who wrote that now let's go into uh Ochiva's room and see if she has a chest. I'm not sure if she does though. She's got a barrel with some cheese in it 
And, uh, yeah, no chest. Let's take a look at Vincente. Just in case he does too. Nothing there. Nothing there. Ah, oh, cool. Ah, oh, oh, damn it. Human blood. Gross. But we'll take it. Potion of Chameleon. That's pretty good. And 25 gold. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. That's really going to do it for the... Uh, not the episode, don't worry. But that is going to do it for... The Shaden Hall Sanctuary for right now. Uh, it's just a dark, grim crypt now filled with dead bodies of our fallen family members that we had to purify because we just didn't know who the traitor was. So now we need to go back and talk to Lucian and tell him that we have done the dark deed. Okay, now let's... I keep thinking there's like, I hear like the dragon, the dragon sound effect where you hear like the wind swooping and all that stuff. But you gotta remember in Oblivion there ain't no dragons. Alright, Lucian. The ritual of purification is complete. Well done. Sithis has been appeased. And the time has come to acknowledge and reward your unwavering loyalty. The Black Hand is most pleased with your progress. You have been invited to share in secrets that few within the Dark Brotherhood even know exist. Your life in the Sanctuary is over. Those contracts are behind you. Now, you will serve the Black Hand. You will serve me. From this moment forward, you will walk in the shadows as my silencer. You will receive contracts only from me. Your new life has begun. Say nothing. Listen well, child. No longer will you receive orders directly. Instead, you will visit dead drop locations scattered throughout Cyrodiil. Your next contract can be found at the dead drop on Hero Hill, southeast of here. A hollow in the moss-covered rock contains all you need to know. When you leave here, we'll not speak again, unless I deem it necessary. Ah, yes. <laughs> there is one last thing. I have for you a very special gift. Waiting just outside is a magnificent steed named Shadowmere. She has served me well. I present her now to you, as a token of my trust and love. Now go, and may Sithis guide you in this new stage of your life's dark journey. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so, just to recap, we are now under the direct command of Lucian Lachance. He's going to be giving us dead drop locations where we need to go find some orders, complete the orders, and uh, get the gold out of that same dead drop location. So it's very hush-hush, very assassin style. Now, he said we've been given a reward, and what is that reward? Well, this beautiful purple red-eyed steed right here that is called Shadowmere, and many of you have probably ridden this horse in uh, Skyrim. I don't want to spoil anything, but you know, the game is two years old. You do get Shadowmere in Skyrim in the Dark Brotherhood quest, and I always thought that was really cool. Now, this is a great, great reward for, uh, for Oblivion. Why? Well, because a lot of the places you have to travel on foot, and there is no sprint, there is no whirlwind shout, so it takes quite a long time to get to places, and uh, our first... Yeah, your, yeah, your pixie. Our first um, location is a place that's called Heroes Hill. Let's just take a look on our map. There it is. And uh, it would take very long to run over there, run, to run over to there. But now we have a horse that so we can travel there. So I will see you guys when we get there. Bye. All right, guys. We seem to be at Heroes Hill. I uh, I think I can spot the hollowed out rock, and that's gonna be that thing right there. So let's take a let's get off of Shadowmere. Stay right there, buddy. And this uh, this horse will travel with you wherever you go, even if you get off him fast travel hill. Like he should appear right next to you. So here we go. Hollowed out rock. Dead drop orders number one. Let's take that. I visited my first dead drop location and received my next contract. I received my new orders from Lucian Lachance. I must go to Leaf Rock Cave and kill a necromancer who's begun the process of transforming himself into a lick. I never understood if it was lick or lich. 
This necromancer, Saladian, Saladian, has not yet completed his metamorphosis, but is still incredibly powerful. Possibly too powerful to kill a face directly. I should search the cave for Saladian, Saladian's whatever writings and try to discover his weakness. So this one's pretty interesting, actually. I remember how it goes. Uh, let's activate this location. There we go. Let's get on our trusty steed. Let's take a look at where this place actually is. In relation to where we are now. Yeah, see, this one's just like out in the middle of nowhere, so it's great that we have a horse. Um, and yeah, I wonder if I should be reading these dead drops instead of just reading like the the simplified version that appears in your quest book because I, from what I remember, they, they're pretty long. Yeah, those are pretty long. So you guys can tell me if you want me to read them or not. I'll be more than happy to if you guys want me to. If not, we'll just, uh, you know, do it as we see fit. And that's going to be it for this episode. On the next episode, we're going to be starting all these dead drop orders in there. They're pretty cool. They're, they, you know, they, they take, it takes it to the next level. All right, so my name is Grovana. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching that video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Also, if you'd like to subscribe and or watch a video that's probably going to be related to the one that you just watched, you can click the annotations on the screen. Finally, if you want to help me grow my channel, you can also share this video on Facebook and Twitter by clicking share below the video. Regardless, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.